Well, let me, let me uh, kind of go over uh, next steps um, for us. So we mentioned a report. So um, what we're going to do is to go back to all of the panels and uh, have conference calls with everybody and kind of uh, firm up their recommendations, write a report, and that should come out around um, the end of the year. Um, we, we, we still may do another panel, and we're hoping to do one. Um, as we mentioned earlier uh, in this, the whole series of panels, um, we weren't able to find really qualified people to do uh, uh, wildlife, uh, endangered species, vegetation, wetlands. Uh, we thought we were at actually going to miss some stuff on traditional knowledge, but maybe we, we adequately covered that. Um, we, we've heard in knowledge that, um, and feedback that um, it would be helpful if we have a, an Alaska Native um, scientist on our panel as one of our panel members, and we actually did try to um, find somebody, and there was a lot of interest, but um, the scheduling was a, was a little bit challenging, so we weren't able to, to, to find that. So we, we may do another panel uh, on the baseline studies. Um, stay tuned for that. We're, we're also planning on doing a science panel, independent science panel, on the mine plan when the mine plan is released. And so that will be sort of looking at these two future scenarios, one being uh, the, the region with a, with a mine plan and the, one, the other will be a region without the mine plan or a no mine option uh, as it's called. So, um, so we'll, um, we're also focusing on that and we'll, and we'll uh, get information out to people uh, on that as, a, as, we, as we develop it. Um, so that's, that's kind of where we stand. So I just um, um, had a kind of a, I want to go back over a couple of things. One is um, before we completely kind of wrap up for the day. Uh, at the end of the, uh, of the meeting uh, last week, um, one of the things that I uh, mentioned was that um, we know that there will be a temptation to uh, what we call cherry pick the, 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 the panels, the, the video production when it comes out. Um, and this is something that we're working, that we're working with, with KTOO because last week's panel, they're actually ready to, to download on our, on our website. Uh, and this one will probably be ready in a few days, and so I'm, we're guessing that they'll be up on the Keystone Center's website next week. Um, uh, the KTOO is mentioned on, I think, on you've seen it on out in the uh, monitor that um, that they're going to show this in its entirety in the week of October 22nd uh, on 360 North. So um, you can see it all again, um, and, I, and there will be a temptation to to pick off sound bites that 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 uh, capture um, the story from two polarized positions, I'm guessing. And I'm hoping that that doesn't happen. Um, but I'm, my guess is, based on what we've seen in terms in the media, that that's likely to happen. Um, we really want to discourage that because we think that the value of this is the discussion in its entirety, not in its entirety over six days, but in its entirety in each of the sessions. Um, the other thing I mentioned is that, th is that this, this piece that I'm saying right now will probably be cut out of that. Um, but we really want people to look at, to, to really kind of get the whole story, to get as much of the discussion as, as they can and to not, um, and to not pick out sound bites that, um, that support one, one viewpoint or another. Um, so, uh, and then finally I, I want to, um, there's a lot of people to thank. And I want to start with our, with our science advisory committee. The people have worked with us for three years, so I think some of them are here. Um, Milo was here earlier. <clears throat> Milo still here? Okay. Elizabeth Andrews, who was, has been with us um, from the very beginning and actually couldn't be, was called away about three weeks ago. So, um, And she would have been moderating the, the panel today, and she, she would have done a great job, be better than I would have, because she, was, uh, she has more substantive knowledge than I do. <clears throat> 
Kirk Nordstrom, who's here, um, Philip Verplank, who was here a, a moment ago, and Rod Eggert, who's back here. So um, I really want to thank them for helping, helping us throughout this process. And I want to thank the panel members who um, really put in a lot of effort to help us. This has been just an incredible amount of effort. And, um, and I was, have been so impressed by um, the enthusiasm and interest that the panel members have taken. So I think that this is um, something that's been incredibly valuable. Um, I want, really want to thank the consultants who have put themselves out there to be um, to have their work scrutinized the way it, that that's been scrutinized, I think that's been incredibly courageous, um, and I want to thank Pebble too for for doing that. Um, and then I want to thank the, my colleagues at, at the Keystone Center um, over the the past years, but the most recent ones, the current ones, are Matt Malika, and Susan Klein, and Nikki Kazalka, and Sarah Denzel, um, <clears throat> and. Uh, and then KTOO for doing their great work um, in the library and, um, and uh, Stephen Rollins, um, the dean of the library, um, and Leanne Monk for being the great sponsor and, and getting this great space for us. And uh, there's, a, there's probably too many people to, to really thank, but um, hopefully I've covered the, the main people. So, um, so that's all, and you'll you'll be hearing more from us, and and uh, hopefully this is uh, this has been a a really good discussion, and we'll we'll see where it goes. So appreciate everybody's and all of your participation and all your interest. So thank you.